this setting. Thanks again for joining me for one of my vlogs. This time, we're doing it in Japan. Yeah, so this is my little room in Japan. Okay, let's talk about Joseph schooling for a second, okay? Um, Joseph, he won Singapore's first gold medal in the Olympics, Rio 2016. Congratulations! Oh my god, so exciting stuff. I was just sharing, I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But okay, let's, let's get back to the facts. The second fact is that um, he broke the Olympic record. And third, the amazing thing is that he beat his childhood idol, Michael Phelps, okay? That is phenomenal. Okay, so let's talk about the time where I got my butt kicked by Joseph schooling. Okay, so let's rewind like a million years back. Many, many, many years ago, um, I used to be a swimmer. So I was training with this team um, in Ipoh, lah, okay, in Ipoh Perak, Malaysia. So um, we were swimming around and then um, coach is like, hey, this guy is joining us. He's from Singapore. His name is Joseph. Oh, okay, come on, join us. So we were swimming, swimming, swimming. And this kid comes out of nowhere, right? But he's so fast. He's faster than all of us, you know? And we're just like, whoa, who is this, this kid? And the thing about it is that he's so much younger than us, you know. I think, okay, I don't remember exactly what age we were and everything, but let's say I was like 12. Okay, let's say I was 11 and he was like 7. Okay, 7, 11, easy to remember, right? So he was so young and he's swimming. He's just like beating all of us. Okay, so this is the pool. Huh? So we're supposed to swim from this side here and then go back, correct? So as my team and I were swimming like that, da -da 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 -da, we're all just trying to kick. And then he's like already coming back, you know. So which means here he's like super, super fast up, basically. And then the coach scolded us. Like, he's like, "Oi, what are you doing? You are you actually swimming or not?" We're like, "Yeah, yeah." He's like, "Oi, why the seven year old boy faster than you?" Hello. And I was like, "Oh my god, I'm trying, I'm trying, just give me coming up." So we're just like trying to chase, and every single time he's so far ahead of us. And the thing about it, I think at that point we didn't know who he was. Right? We we're just like, "Oh my god, this young kid is just like really kicking our butts, man! Like, what is going on? That is insane." So we we're just like, "Okay, you know what?" Let's just chill, let's just do our best. But now, right, looking back upon it, I, I feel like I can just tell my coach, like, hello, excuse me, he's like the fastest swimmer in the world right now. What he was going to be. So now, if I tell my coach, I'm like, see, coach, it's not that I was ridiculous, not that I was slow, not that I was trying to be lazy. It's just like, he's just super, super fast. Okay, so what can we learn from this? I feel that, you know, watching, watching him just, like, you know, achieve his dreams is super, super inspiring. Like, I feel like, but one thing I, I realized is that it didn't come from luck. He didn't just wake up one day and just decided to be a swimmer. He's, he's been great since he was like seven. So actually, maybe even younger. I really don't remember the age. Lah. But he was so young and he's just like so fast. Always ahead of people who are so much older than him. Um, he's been training like crazy. Every time we see him at competitions, he's very, very disciplined. You know what I mean? I don't always see him and we, we don't hang out or we're not like friends or whatever. But like he's like so disciplined, so determined and so hardworking. And you know swimmers lah. Swimmers, we always have this 4am training session. It's freezing cold. But the fact that he's been able to do it for so many years, that is that is insane. So we used to swim before like going to school, that kind of training, right? That's what he's been doing. And that, that oh my gosh, you know what I mean? Like it's just like, okay, can you just imagine that? And the second thing, right, that I observed, which I think that it might be one of his secret weapons, is his mom, Auntie May. So Auntie May always follows him around for like competitions. She sends him there. She, you know, she encourages him, makes sure, make sure like he, he eats properly, rests enough and everything like that. So for you to have so much determination, respect, man. So congratulations again, Joseph. Congratulations to Singapore. I think you guys are just, I'm just, yeah. Good job, good job, honestly. Um, if you like this video, please like, share it, subscribe. And uh, social media links. Oh, I didn't I didn't have time to edit because I'm in Japan and I'm going to be flying off, so I improvise. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Um, next week, I will be on air on Hits FM, so please remember to tune in. And also, if you're coming for Puma Night Run, I'll be hosting, so I'll see you there very soon, okay? In the meantime, I hope you're really, really, really super inspired, la, because I am. I really am. Yeah. See you soon, okay? Bye! I'm going to catch my flight now.